consecutive games for Cal Ripken Jr. Midway through this one, it'll be 2-1-3-1. You live your life, you play your career in a certain way to try to be the best you can be. And I think everybody realizes down deep inside in order to accomplish something. And the Orioles are the champions of the world. Number 400, number 3,000. You have to give yourself to the task. And giving yourself to the task means going to the place of work and getting through the tough times. It's an approach that was first symbolized by the Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. When he played in 2,130 consecutive games, folks said it was a mark that would never be broken. But who could have foreseen the emergence of Cal Ripken and a career best characterized by two words, the streak. The streak resonated with a lot of people because it could relate to a uh, plain value of going to work every day and trying to meet the challenges of the day. Oh my goodness, he's done it again! You gotta wanna play and you gotta play well. One reason that some guys don't play every day is they're not good enough. A guy like Cal was the best player on the team. Every day you want to win the game, you want Cal in the lineup. Home run for Ripken, he does one more great memory for Cal Ripken Jr. What Cal Ripken has done without missing a game, I don't know if people understand how amazing that really is. There's no way to describe it. I don't think I have any secret that I can dispel at this point, and then everybody will play a thousand consecutive games. It's just uh, a little bit of luck and a lot of desire. He's a guy who just showed up and gave 100% every single day for years and years and years. He was baseball's everyman. He says so much about a player, to me even more so than numbers, because preparation, discipline, all the great things that you have to do to right to be on the field for that many games. 162 game schedule per season, plus your 30 spring training games, plus if your team makes the playoffs. You know, it's a 200 plus year. The shortstop, now playing in 2,000 consecutive games in a row. Cal Ripken. Just going out there and playing shortstop on an everyday basis is not like, you know, playing left field. You know, shortstop is a pretty busy position. Diving stop by Cal. There's so many little things that can go wrong. You know, you roll an ankle, you get hit on the hand. Cal's pain tolerance is pretty high. I mean, because every day that you go out there and play, you're hurt. It's easy to call in sick. It's easy not to show up. But if you push through, you find that you can. And let it be said that number eight, Cal Ripken Jr., has reached the unreachable star. What began on May 30th, 1982, climaxed when Cal played in his 2,131st consecutive game. The Iron Man had passed the Iron Horse. Once the celebration started, the applause didn't seem to go down, and it went from 50,000 strong to a very intimate, one-on-one -on -one personal celebration where you would look into the eyes of every single one that you talked to. That will live for 2,131 years. Cal would go on to play in 2,632 straight games, a streak that covered 17 seasons. He'd have plenty of memorable moments, but that night in Baltimore was something special. From a human personal standpoint, the celebration of 2131 was out of this world. There's no human moment that can be better than that. You usually say, this record will never be broken, but there seems like somebody always, it's gonna be hard for me to believe this record's gonna be broken. I just think that there's so many things working against a player being able to play at that level for that long and not run into a pulled hamstring or a foul ball off your foot where you can't walk the next day. The chances of that are high. For Matsui to leave a game tells you that it is indeed hurt. He's played in now 519 consecutive games for the Yankees. You've got to perform well and then perform well enough and stay physically healthy enough to be able to do it year in and year out. It's just not an easy task. That record right there, I don't think anybody ever wants to come close to, to be honest with you. My first thought with Cal is somebody that's in a Baltimore uniform now, and that's Tejada. Hey, what is it about guys who play shortstop in Baltimore anyway? Miguel is one of just seven major leaguers ever to play in more than 1,000 straight games. But here's the thing, he's still not even halfway to Cal's incredible streak. 
it's something that you have to start early in your career and also play 15 years at the major league level without ever missing a game, and, and I don't think that'll be done again. It's a pretty tough milestone. You know, I love to see him get it, but it's one of them things I just don't think so. Miguel Tejada, he will catch Al Ripken Jr. somewhere in July 2016. Go get him, Miguel. You have to honor Miguel for what he's done so far and appreciate it in that vein that that is a very special streak. But the bar for Cal was just so high. It's indescribable. It'll just never be broken because, one, it's hard enough to play 20 years anymore, let alone start every game. So I think it's impossible 